this is going to end up just being square if it ain't long enough.
Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the outpost. As you see, we got the crew here again today. Uh, Jennifer, my daughter, and of course Patrick, one of the guys that she works with. Um, we did manage to get a few boards put on the opposite side, the longest ones actually. Um, but I told Patrick before he left today, I wanted to try to get this gable end covered because it's kind of hard to do those eight footers by yourself and actually hold both ends. Um, so we're going to try to do that before he leaves today. And Jennifer, she was getting some of the battens stained. We're getting ready to uh, scorch, cut a piece of plywood, scorch it. She's going to stain it so we can put those up. And then I guess she'll go back to staining those battens. But anyway, did you have any jokes today? Yeah. What do you find in a clean nose? Nose. Clean nose. In a clean nose? Yeah. Fingerprints. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I had to tell it. <laughs> uh, Smokey was like, my What's goodness, wrong? Jennifer. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Anyway, Patrick, you got any jokes for us? Why, did, why, why didn't the chicken cross the road? <laughs> I don't know. Because he was Alfredo. <laughs> <laughs> the kids in math, they love that the other day. Oh, Lord. <laughs> that is funny. Okay. The chicken Alfredo for lunch of the day. I thought of that. Um, Look at you being cute. That's funny. I don't have any jokes. My joke is these two being here today. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even know that I was going to be here until I told him this morning that his wonderful daughter was going to bless him with her presence today. And I knew he was just so thankful. She and you know what he wrote back? LOL. You're a mess. I, yeah, and then I said, do you want hot dogs if I bring them? And I have, I've <clears throat> totally forgot about them. As uh, he does per norm. Anyway, um, we may go ahead and get those cut, and while she's staining them, maybe we can fire those up and eat them. So, anyway, but hope you guys sit back, stay tuned, and enjoy the video. That was y'all's clue to join us. <laughs> that sounded real country, didn't it? Gin dogging 101. Can't get it too close. I'm not. Gonna cook these hot dogs. Oh yeah! Zip it in! Zip it in! Oh my, what a hot dog day! Oh yeah, look at that! Can you turn them for me? Not yet. Oh. Go ahead, black them up.
Blush and a turkey neck. guys here cheers to the gin dogs look at him over the air she said is that healthy right to eat them cooked that way well, what's the difference in them being cooked on a, on a grill come propane that's right? a propane grill same difference
sweater you want? Uh, yes, yeah, so that's fine. this way.
together, I want you to let go. about to wrap it up here and I just wanted to show you all everything that I got done today. I have been up on the ladder, breaking a sweat, using the drill. Look here. I used to be afraid of heights. Keyword being used to. Dad, aren't you proud? <laughs> Actually, she's been inside burning and staining. <laughs> Um, I was telling a real good story though. So what we managed to get today was we got, what was it, five more of these long ones on because they're a little bit more difficult uh, to put on by yourself. So Patrick helped me get almost to the window. So I think that I can finish from there over, get the window set. Then I'm ready to put my piece of trim up there and then start shoving those battens and coming all the way across. So we got the other side, the gable end done. So once I get to this corner, I'm going to start on that opposite corner and start working my way down because the boards that Jennifer stained that were kind of the ones that were on the top that got wet, um, we're trying to let those dry out as long as possible. They're actually going to go on the back side. Uh, but thank you guys so much for coming up here and helping. And I think Jennifer was talking about something about farmers and cows. Yeah. So I was reading that um, apparently cows produce more milk uh, when the farmers talk to them. I didn't know if you'd ever heard that. They say it's a case of one ear and out the udder. <laughs> hey guys, look, look. She, she's about a half bubble off level. <laughs> I'm a crayon short or whatever that, that, that saying is. Um, but thanks guys for stopping by and tuning in and checking us out, putting this uh, siding on the cabin up here. We really appreciate it. Jennifer, my son Patrick, um, we can't thank you uh, enough for all of your support. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, we hope everyone has a great afternoon. Can I say one thing? After I get the hair wherever it's at. You all, uh, don't forget to share us with your family and friends, tell them to hit that subscribe button. If for nothing else, come to support my dad. No, I'm kidding. I was just saying, come and join my jokes. Um, anyway, but also do go over to the Outpost Review, hit the subscribe button to that. Like us, love us, um, and also please don't knock the gin dogs today because it's the same thing as propane coming out of a wonderful grill and firing your little hot dogs up on the norm but it was just a lot faster so again go try you a gin dog she'll be trying to do it on pizza next yeah <laughs> but you all take care and be safe and we will see you next time here at the outpost i beat him <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you.